December 1994. The Criminal Justice and Public Order Act is now law. All over this disunited kingdom, people have become instant criminals. Your lifestyle is illegal. The government has declared war on you because of the way you live. Will you fight back? You are organizing a free party in a field in the country for you and some friends. You arrange for a generator sound system, lights, and DJs to play some repetitive beats. And that afternoon, go there to prepare. But the police turn up. They say, if you do not remove yourselves and your equipment, you will be arrested. You could be jailed for up to three months. You could have your equipment taken from you and sold. All for a little party. Do you back off? Or do you fight back? You're on your way to a friend's house. The police stop you. They say they have reason to believe you might be going to an illegal rave. But the rave is over four miles away and your friend lives nearby. They don't need proof. If you don't turn back, you will be arrested. Do you turn back or do you fight back? You are arrested for something you didn't do. You don't know your rights, so you wait till your lawyer arrives before you answer any questions. While you wait, the police ask, did you do it? You say nothing. At your trial, the court takes your silence as an admission of guilt. You are sent down. Do you answer back or do you fight back? You live in a squat. There is nowhere else for you to go. You and your two children have lived there for over a year. One day, a bailiff arrives at your door with a court order for you to leave. You have 24 hours in which to find another place to live. If you don't leave, you could be arrested, charged, and sent down for up to six months. Do you go back to the streets? Or do you fight back? Christmas time. All over the country, families tuck into dinner in the warmth of their houses. But your house is in a police compound. And your family is dispersed amongst friends and relatives. You are on the streets. The owner of a piece of rough ground in the middle of nowhere has decided that two buses and a caravan, several families and a couple of dogs are causing him a nuisance. So the police came and said, move on. But your vehicle broke down and the others wouldn't leave without you. And anyway, there was nowhere else to go. So the police arrested you and your friends and impounded your vehicles. You're angry and you want some comeback. Do you fight back? You are paid a tiny wage for a hard day's work. You see company directors receiving huge increases in their salaries. You have to strike for a 3% increase. You want to go to your place of work to try to persuade your colleagues to support the strike. But while you are still over a mile away, 
the police stop you. If you don't turn back, they will arrest you. Will you turn back? Or will you fight back? You are a hunt saboteur. You have been arrested, charged and convicted under Section 68 of the Criminal Justice Act after the police stopped you on the way to a hunt. You have been given three months in jail. Under the new act, any building or floating structure can be designated a prison. You spend your three months in the hold of a ship floating on the River Thames. The ship is a decommissioned Royal Naval vessel owned and run by a private security company. One of the top directors of the private security firm is an ex-conservative government minister. this bill would take away were won by struggle. There was never any grant of freedom from the top. The right to worship as you pleased was won by struggle against the law. The right to trade unions to organize was won by struggle against repressive laws. The right for women to vote was won by struggle against men who would not grant that right. In the end of apartheid in South Africa was won by bitter struggle against the system that repressed people's freedom. And all the great changes in human history have been won by people just like us. Do you fight back? Of course you do. You can't do anything else. The government has made you a criminal. They think they have you in checkmate. But you're not alone. There are thousands of people affected by this act. And if we all join together to fight back, then these unholy laws will be repealed. It's called the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act. But we know there is no justice just us.